Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch. So we are in the site administration as an admin. Let me change that so you see the difference. Notice this is what the admin sees. Now that you know what the manager sees, you'll get an idea of how much more there is for the admin. Okay, under the general administrations, you can see there's quite a bit there. Uh, we're going to go into the next feature, which is the users. Under users, notice what's available here under accounts, permissions, and privacy and policies. Next to that are the courses. Okay, so let's take a look at what's under courses before we go into the managers features. Here I am as the manager and I'm going to go into the courses. Notice the difference. Yeah, that's a huge difference. Notice what's under courses, recommend recommended activities, pending requests, restore course, add a new course, add a category, and manage courses and categories. So we're going to go into manage courses and categories. Notice what you can do here. You can actually do quite a bit. You can uh, create a category over here, but you can also create a new course once you have the category. Let's go into, and that's what you'll be doing. You'll be trying this out. So let's get started with add a new category. So that's the first thing you're going to need to do. Add a new category. And notice there's a parent category, but you're going to change that and go into top. Let me just make sure that you see that. Instead of uh, settling for what's there by default, you're going to go into this area. Click on search over here, and then you'll get top. That's the category that you're going to hit there. So I hit top. Now under top, I'm going to write a new category name, and then I'm going to add courses under this category. Make it a unique name so that it's only yours, unless others want to join in. But this is going to be a very special feature. I'm going to add, I added my name and then I'm going to create the category. Under Nelly, I'm going to add my courses. All right, so let's look for the Nelly. There is Nelly down here. I am going to, there we go, going to go into either here under Nelly or go into this gear. Okay, let's go to the right here and create a new course. And I'm going to call this course Nelly Deutsch. It's going to be the first course that I'm going to add. Please add real categories and the short is ND. You can have something else if you like. Now notice here the uh, enable course end date. That's there by default. Let's just get rid of it. We don't really need it, right? So we're going to untick that. There we go. Untick it. You can have a course ID number, it's up to you. Write a description in any case for your course, and then you can add a course image, and you just go through that. And remember to save and return. Save and return, if you want to know the difference, save and return means that you return to the uh, original place, and save and display, you're just going to display the course. So let's take a look at save and display, so you can see what it looks like. But I'd rather you explore it, and notice short name is already used for another course, Nelly Deutsch. So let's just write something else in between, Nelly 3D and 3D. All right, let's uh, save and display. I had no idea that they what? Already used for another course? Isn't that strange? This is really unusual, so let's just call it uh, same as uh, Nelly. We'll call it the same name. I have no idea what's going on, but maybe there's a problem here that I need to take care of since I'm in as uh, course category. 
I'm in as a manager, just like you. So if there's a problem here, we'll have to resolve it. There. All right. So there it is. Notice uh, that's the general. Okay. The general is up here. Uh, you can go and you can change by going into the settings. Notice everything's at the top. So please change the layout. Scroll down, course format. Uh, topics by default. Let's choose one topic. And what I do here is as a tab and uh, hidden sections are completely invisible. I like that. Okay, so there we are. Now we've done it. Okay, and then I'd like you to add everything else, including the enrollment methods and so on. And um, add some topic sections. Okay, you can also get rid of some of them. Don't forget to turn editing on. Right now it's at the top right. This is boost 4.0.1. So remember to turn it on so that you can see all the editors and you're able to edit. Okay, what are the activities? And the general is there by default. You can't really do anything, but please um, edit the section by adding a custom name. You should know that by now. You click on the radio button there, and then you can add the custom. Let's go back into um, settings here. Okay, and um, make sure that everything is good to go. All right, so I'll let you play around with that and show us how you created a course, added a few topic sections, a few activities, and so on. All right, let's see what else is available here. Um, when we go into the site, no, not the site administration, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Go back into my courses, now it's my course. So I can see it here. Oh, notice it came in twice, that's why that was a mistake. I guess I came in three times. All right, if this happens, just delete. Let me show you how you would delete. Um, notice you can also get a list, not just the cards. So um, let's see what this one has in it. Nothing so far. So where do you delete this? You need to go into My Courses. Maybe it's good that I made this mistake. Under, uh, sorry, under Site Administration, and then Courses. And then manage courses and categories and this is where you can delete all these uh, Nellies. Wow. Well, all right so let's start not delete the category but we want to delete the courses okay so let's go into the gear and um, and the courses okay so click on Nelly and now we can delete the courses I don't know which one okay let's delete at least two of them, all right? We can delete from here by, or move them to another sandbox. Okay, so let's delete. Notice if the course is heavy, it usually takes a lot of time. See what else you can do with a course, like restore it. Be patient, it will be available. There's one. Uh, sometimes you can do more than one, but I see in this case I can only do one, so that's fine. Okay, let's delete this one as well. I guess I created three at the same time. All right, there we go. Okay, and um, let's go on to site administration at the top there, where you're the manager, and go into courses. So we've managed this. We've added a category. We've added a new course. Let's try to restore a course. I'm going to let you play around with that. And of course, take a look at the pending requests. Uh, there aren't any, so that's not a problem. And that's it. Under courses, have a great week and uh, have fun with Moodle because it's an amazing platform.